who knew? You know, good old Rona has intervened in our life for the past 10 months. It is now December 2020 and have a look at that baby. Uh, Overland Track Pass. It's December 10, uh, December 5. We start the Overland for 2020 tomorrow, December 6. Yes, weather certainly rolled in. It's Ronnie Creek just down there. So forecast for the next couple of days is a whole lot of weather, rain, snow, super gale force wind. So we're going to cop it for the first couple of days, we reckon. But I'd rather this than not doing the overland. So this kind of weather, yeah, okay, I'll take it. Better than nothing. Yeah, Rona, what a bitch it's been. Take it. Rightio, here we are. Overland track, December 6, 2020. Ten months in the making. We were trying this in March, but got stung by Rona. So, here we are. Raring to go. It is bitterly cold. It is pelting down rain. Absolutely gale force winds like overnight. But there is blue, rain has stopped. Let's go, mate. Let's go, Let's go check it out. Overland track, here we go. You! Yeah. Probably not going to see too much of that blue stuff over the coming couple of days. So let me set the scene. Sunday. December 6, 2020 and while it's dry now it's probably wind chill of zero bitterly cold we had very strong weather pass through overnight oh look first one back heavy squalling rain downpours backed off then the wind kicked in Whew. it's waiting for the roof to blow off the cabins it's kind of a little. Good to be on the track again. The first snowstorm passing through. So we're just near the Crater Falls, Ronnie Creek down there in the distance. So time that well. Get out a little bit of passing squall. Just here at the falls, that's spectacular. That snow drifting through. Wow. Ah, oh, here we are at the boat shed, Crater Lake. Quick little smoke over here. Very much in a bit of a protected from the wind, which is howling. Beautiful. More snow passing through. Winter Wonderland in the first week of summer. Welcome to Tassie. More than a winter wonderland. It's getting a bit hairy. It's got this big passing squall. Got my back to the wind. Woo! Shit! Oh, look at this. Ah, uh, that's... So 
Do we wait an hour? See what happens. Oh, look at this. That's building up quickly. Ooh. Welcome to summertime. Let's see if the wife's still smiling. Snow's really coming in. Squall. Big. Massive. It's going to be absolutely ferocious up there on the circ. So. I think we're going to have to pull our trip. At least, at least part of the trip. It's probably just not worth the risk. Look at that. Continues like this for a day. There'll be ruggy snow juice up there. Mm. That's just a couple minutes of snow. Pretty wild place where it wants to show its angry face. Beautiful, but deadly. Yeah, right. Let's pull up. Look at that. Anyway, half glass full. The good thing about being Tasmanian, living in Tasmania, we can pull the pin. We'll be home tonight, probably home by lunchtime. Nice warm house. And we've got options still. So we're thinking maybe we'll see this weather out for a couple of days and then head in via the Arm River track. And then we'll effectively be back on schedule at New Pelion Hut. Uh, Tuesday night or Wednesday or failing that we just say to hell with the OT this year and we'll just go back to Lake St. Clair and then head up to Pine Valley for a few days maybe we were planning on getting the ferry out so hey we've got options so, so weather is predicted to get much better for the rest of the week just these two three days it's a pissy little weather front Back at Ronnie's Creek now, so about 11.30. And to say that we are bitterly disappointed is an understatement. Because we definitely copped the worst of that front. Starting early, this time around has worked to our disadvantage. Because now, even though it's still blowing a gale up there, the snow seems to have abated. And it's kind of clearing to a degree, so... Anyway, it's too late now. We don't want to turn. We could very tempting to try again, turn around now and head back. But we started at mid midday in our last hike, and it just wasn't any fun for for the missus. So we'll stick to the decision, go home and consider our options. So all those other hikers might have been looking at us like we were a bit strange, turning around on a day like today, but. We had to make the decision based on what we were experiencing and while it might have cleared up-ish now, 
It might not have. It might not have. We had no way. If it was going to just look like it was getting worse and worse where, where we were standing. So. And the weather for the next three days suggests that it's going to be like this, pretty much constant. So you're not to know. You have to do what you do at the time. Yeah, I had to make the call at that point, not second guessing. 2020 hindsight. But anyway. Done deal. Upsetting. Very disappointing, but over the tracks going nowhere. Nice mm. comeback, which we are doing actually in February. Because we're Tasmanian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Overland Track 2020. Is it cluster? <laughs> Beep that out. <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> there you go.